What's up guys? It's Marcus from the Marcus and Sandy Morning Show. Happy National Beer Lovers Day. Am I right? Look at these ladies right here. <laughs> We're going to talk about pairing beer with food. We're here at 25 Lusk in San Francisco with the one, the only executive chef and owner, Matthew Dolan. Good to see you, buddy. How are you, buddy? I'm great. I yeah, see so you great. got that opener. I'm, I'm dying to open some beer with you. <laughs> these beers, first of all, these are all San Francisco beers. Are we starting with that one over there? Yeah, let's start with Anchor Steam. So okay. it's not only a delicious lager style beer, but sure. it's a it's a it's a story, you know, like the first California lager in 1876 from the Bach. Uh, brewery, which no longer exists, laid it out for Californians to have their own lager. And then in 1896, they, the Anchor Brewery opened in San Francisco, and they've been mimicking that original lager ever since. And it's timeless, it's awesome. It's delicious. It is delicious. Uh, if you can but find this in the grocery store, it's pretty amazing. I love this beer because it's crisp, it's clean, it pairs yeah. with all sorts of different foods. Are you familiar with the nose grease concept? I've heard this. Watch this. Does sign. it work? Watch this sign. It's right here. Oh my goodness. Watch that head disappear. How Am I right? <laughs> Throw a little nose grease on there and we're done. We What's are up, high school. Cheers. Hey. cheers. We're not sharing <laughs> beers on that one. <laughs> so it's beautiful. It's super mellow, not too acidic. Nice little bit of malt, tiny little bit of hops. You know, it's just a good yeah. everyday yeah. kind of everybody's beer. It's not gonna like weigh you down. No, 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 no. And it's not, it's not overly complicated too, you know? Sure. We're gonna pair this with our hot dog. It's an all beef hot dog. Oh, look at <laughs> there's food too? There's food too. I'm glad to see you put your napkin on your lap also. <laughs> so let's talk about the yeah. dish real quick. All beef Frank from sustainably raised Cattle, uh, some caramelized beer onions. You can get this here on Rooftop 25 here. This is on the menu, yep. Uh, tell me about this cheese. So it's 100% sharp cheddar with beer and onions and garlic, and we just cook it down to make this cheddar fondue. We roast off some onions and we actually cook them with beer. So you, you might realize we have a few beer lovers. I want you in the to house. say cheddar fondue again, but slower. Cheddar fondue. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, real quick. Go, Go ahead, have a some, chip. Oh. Some chips, some bread and butter pickles, mm -hmm. um, and the bun is a pretzel, basically, that looks like a hot dog bun. Let's go nuts. Let's go nuts. I mean, I've I, I washed my hands, so you're all That's set. That's fine. So this is our pairing a little hot dog and beer. It doesn't get any better. Mm hmm. This is like the baseball stadium classic. I'm not a beer scientist, but the hoppiness of the beer really clears out all the fattiness of the cheese and the meat. Mm -hmm. Then the onions say to me like, wait, I'm sweeter than you think. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, and then just to cleanse your palate pal a little bit for your next bite. Cleanser. This guy right here. Which this also, which also pairs well with the beer. That's a big job. Mm -hmm. Cool. It was a sweet one. I love it. Good stuff. So that's beer number one. Good job, Anchor Steam. Mm -hmm. I feel you. You're not going after the nose. My breeze. fault. What do we have next? This is the Villager IPA. Okay. A very Northern California style IPA from the Fort Point Brewing Company. It's made here in San Francisco. They do a ton of great beer, but this one is, this one, if you like IPAs, this one is fantastic. It's, it's aggressive. Um, the hops are there in your face, but they, but it's balanced so well. Some of these Northern California IPAs can be in your face. They're a little bit too much. This one, it's aggressive, but it's not, it's not too much. It's 6.3% alcohol, so it's not over the top. May I do the honor? Please, please. This is my favorite sounds in the entire world. Are you guys <laughs> even ready? Ah, uh, yeah. Goodness. My goodness. Man, if we were on a rooftop with a couple of glasses and some pizza, this would be an amazing day. So, oh my God, and, look! And then pizza arrives. We're excited about this pizza yeah. because it kind of deviates a little bit from the standard one. You know, it's our Neapolitan, ne Neapolitano style. I can pizza say that. Pizza Neapolitana. There you go. Mexicana. Um, but with a little Mexican twist. So chorizo, some cilantro, lime zest, roasted corn. But I think the cilantro and the lime really speak to the hops in the beer. So I think that's kind of the key of this mm -hmm. pairing. My name. Is Indigo Montoya. <laughs> you kill my father. Prepare to die. I love that movie. I also have an immunity to Iron King. <laughs> <laughs> you can get this pizza yourself. I feel like Vanna White right now. You have a little bit of the herbaceousness of the cilantro. You have that elote, which gives it a sweet element. You've got uh, cumin in the, the base sauce. What happens to me with this beer, and you correct me if I'm wrong, but you start drinking this beer and Again, it offsets all this fattiness, clears your palate out a little bit, and adds a little bit more sweetness. Like the chorizo brings out the sweetness. This kind of this kind of cools off the spice a little bit. Nobody really competes. They actually really work together. It's my favorite so. pizza movie right here. Awesome. Let's roll it up. Get in there. <laughs> what a good excuse to hang out on the roof and have beers and pizza together. We're going to have to reshoot this part like six more times. Okay, yeah. You guys? <laughs> All right, for the final pairing, we're gonna make it weird. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. <laughs> Listen, here's what we have. First of all, this isn't the weird part. This is the delicious part. This is the delicious part. Um, 
Our buddies in the Haight-Ashbury at Magnolia make a variety of different styles of beers and their popularity keeps increasing. This is a session style beer, so low alcohol, the mm -hmm. kind of beer you drink all day long. It's called a Kolsch? It's a Kolsch, which is a German style of beer, which okay. is crisp and clean. What I love about this beer, I mean, I do like these session style beers that are lower in alcohols because that means you can drink more of them um, before you, it gets very silly. You want me to nose grease your pour for you? Not this time, not this <laughs> I'm still working on that, but All right. working through it. If, yeah. you're, if you're a beer lover in today's National Beer Lover's Day, this is sunshine in a glass, okay. as, as far as If we beer. had like a rooftop deck, and maybe something to pair this with. I don't know, maybe some tuna ceviche, or how about this some tuna ceviche? This is where it gets interesting. I'm not gonna call it weird, but I, I never would have thought pairing ceviche with beer. Let's talk about this. Well, so in this one, you've got some jalapeno, um, you have a good amount of vinegar, uh, soy, sesame, okay. uh, celery, mint, cilantro, uh, good amount of lime. So the fact that this is a citrusy and light beer, mm -hmm. and you're talking about a citrusy and light fish, okay. you're kind of doing that parallel pairing. pairing. You're doing a parallel yeah, pairing. Yeah, parallel As opposed pairing. to the opposite pairing. The, exactly. As opposed of to doing one something. canceling out the other. Correct. Got yeah, it. yeah. I'd love to see what you think about the citrus meets citrus, because I, I think that's kind of the key to this pairing. I really like the taste of sesame oil on my ceviche, like I'm a nut for it. Me too. And so this is like really nicely pronounced. I'm gonna need a little bit more actually. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get some thoughts. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the dog patch, mm -hmm. they have Smokestack, which is their barbecue restaurant where they serve these beers too. Okay. And what they do with this beer, which is really cool, is when you're waiting to pick up your barbecue, they'll pour you a 10 ounce Kolsch <laughs> right there. It's the oh, one wow. beer they serve right there. Not only are they thoughtful the hospitality folks, they make really delicious beer. That's a really great like parallel tasting. Mm -hmm. It's like they're running in a marathon mm -hmm. right next to each other. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. And then you get to the finish <laughs> line and you're full. They're bros. Yeah, that's true. My kids go to school to hate Ashbury, and every time there's a parent teacher conference mm -hmm. or one of them's in trouble, <laughs> you gotta stop by. I stop at Magnolia and have a beer first. Dude, before or after? <laughs> before. <laughs> It makes going to the principal's office more tolerable. One before so. and two after. <laughs> exactly. This has been amazing. This has been fun. Happy National Beer Lovers Day. Come visit 25 Lusk in San Francisco. If you are here in the Bay or ever in the Bay, come to the rooftop, man. This man knows how to do it right. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Good to see you as always.